Hey there, thanks for stopping by. And if you're new to my community, welcome. My name's Robbie Greer from Rusticated Art. Now today's video is part three of a series that I've been doing as part of a commission for Hemi and Nicole. So be sure to stay tuned and watch to the end because along the way I'm going to be showing you all sorts of little tips. I'll even show you a little segment there on how to draw clouds because clouds are involved in this one. So what do you reckon? Come on then. Okay, so we started off just, just finishing off putting in the structure for the windmill. Putting the weather vanes in. And the ladder. Just little bits here. Now I just about forgot about that tire on the other side there of the, of the ute. So I had to put that in. Just putting in some grass. Now in the front of I've made the front grass a lot more a lot more detailed because it is in the foreground. And this is a process, this is there's gonna be a few layers I'm gonna be putting down. So I'm just using a 6B pencil, a uh, 4B pencil, just putting down some darks. So we're putting in the layers of the grass, the grassy area. Now I'm going in with my Tombow, just taking a few highlights out. Smoothing it over with, with my uh, stump, my, uh, my brush blender, sorry. Now I'm using a 2B mechanical pencil just to put a few more darks in. To get the effect that I'm after, it's just a matter of doing a series of layers. Now I'm going with a darker pencil again. Six B wood case pencil. Now I've taken a few highlights out with my mechanical eraser. Just it's a bit stronger, so it can actually get right down to the paper because I just wanted it to be a bit lighter. And going in with my blending stump. So you can see how it's, it's a series of, of layers. Taking a bit more out with the Tombow. Now I'm going in with my pen, with my high, fine line. Putting in a few more leaves, um, yeah, grass, blades of grass, not leaves. Now I'm going in right at the bottom just to make it a bit darker, just to give it a bit more uh, dimension. Sort of like it was pushing it back but bringing the grass forward. Use my mechanical pencil again just to put a few more few more um, blades of grass in. Putting in the tire in, in ink. I'm just taking a little bit out now with my Tombow, just taking a few highlights out. Adding a bit more to the strainer. Using my 6B. A bit more detail. Blending it all in. Now I'm just going over with my, with my fine line ink pen, just putting in the hurricane wire. So it stands out a bit. Because it wraps around the post. Making it a little bit more detailed. Now I'm using a, a cool grey colouring in pencil. I use it from time to time. It just sort of gives it a little different 
different shade from just straight out uh, graphite. Like I said, windmills are, can be very tricky because they're always on different angles. It's not like you look at them straight on and the blades seem to be in different angles and different positions. But that's just how they are when they're moving around. Or, the, the, depending on the angle that you're standing, you're standing at. Just putting a bit more detail. Laying down a bit more, well actually it's not graphite, a bit more pencil. Just trying to create a little bit of a shade underneath the, the utility, the old FJ. Taking a bit out. Now I decided I wanted to put a bit more cloud in, a bit more sky, so I just scraped a bit more graphite onto the picture. Just putting in basic shapes. Now I use my electric eraser just to take a bit out for the cloud, but then I decided to use my pencil eraser instead. And clouds are the same, we're just sort of building up layers. Now I'm just using a generic cloud because there's no cloud in the picture itself in the reference photo. But I just felt we needed to put some in. But what I would suggest, if you're going to be doing it, is um, is to take a photo of a cloud, the cloud scene outside your outside your place, if there's clouds around, and, and use that as a reference. It's been raining here for the last three days, which is really really unusual. So the whole place is cloudy. There's no sort of cloud breaks. It's overcast. We've actually had 65 mils of rain in the last three days, which is unheard of for around here. Well, for a long time anyway. Beautiful. We've been under water restrictions and that, and the dams are all low, but this will help. Just using my blender just to soften everything up. Now, I decided that I'll just show you how quickly how to make it, how, how to do a, a cloud. So I put down my, my, uh, my graphite using my blue my blue tack to take it out, take out a basic shape and then I go in with my pencil eraser and we make it a bit clearer, a bit more detailed by taking out a little bit more graphite now we're just blending a little bit back in or moving a little bit around I mean now we're putting a bit more back in and just take your time it's like everything it all takes practice. I, I actually have a video, I'm not sure what it is, number four or five, which is all about doing clouds. But I just thought I'd just throw this in now. Because we're doing clouds, so, you know, it might be easier just to have a look at a simple little cloud like this. Right. We're still just taking little bits out. Just defining the, the veins on the windmill a bit more. that post put in the ink I didn't realize when I was recording that the the image was so far to the right otherwise I get so involved in what I'm doing I, I, I forget to look at the the actual um, the flip out so I can see what I'm doing. Now I'm just going around now, just putting in some darks and shadows. More around the ute, so we get a little bit darker around there. Just 
I'm just doing the headlights there, there's, there's sort of like a little cross pattern going across. Touching up the, the foliage in the background, just putting a few more darks in. And I do this quite often, I'll wait a couple of days and, and you see a little bit more detail to put, in it, to put in. It's very hard when you're actually doing it at the time because you spend a lot of time doing this. It's very hard until you stand back and have a look with fresh eyes just to see other areas that need to be done. And the branches and And now what I'm doing here is I'm just going along the bottom of where the grass is with, with my um, with my pen, pencil, uh, sorry, with my with my fine yeah fine line pen, and I'm just just not not a, you know it's sort of a random thing. It just gives the the, the impression of of distance. And of course, of, of part of the landscape, the, the, the grass that's already there. Now, what I'm doing now, I'm just going around on the windmill and just taking out some highlights. Oh, of course, there's the, oh, my um, traditional three birds I've got to go in. They're not in the reference photo, but they're in this one. Just tidying up the tyres. Sort of coming to the close now, so I'm just sort of just going around and touching up here and there, giving it a few little tweaks where I feel it's needed. I mean, I'll probably come back and start, um, probably do a little bit more, and I'll see something else that needs to be done. It's just one of those things that you just, you just, it's hard to. To, to stop just straight out, you know. I mean, you always see something extra, but you do. You have to stop. Like for the purpose of this video, well, it's got to come to an end. But I will see other things in there before I actually put it on wood. Just tying up around the outside. And I extended the windmill so we actually got the whole thing in. So it's just sticking up above the the picture. That won't matter because it's getting transferred on wood. And and the only thing is that with clouds and that, when you actually transfer them. Um, they don't show up to so good, so I try to get them a little bit darker. Well, I must be finished because I've just signed it. There you go. Yeah, and if you like what you see, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Well, I'm glad you watched it till the end, and I really enjoyed sharing the whole process with you. But it's not the end yet. Yep, that's the end of the drawing. But now, the next stage is going to be to transfer the image onto wood. And I'm really looking forward to doing it. I'm going to share the whole process with you. I think you'll find it interesting. I know I'm going to. <laughs> but anyway, I'd like to give a special shout out to SG Art Studios for leaving such a beautiful comment. I was gobsmacked, I didn't know how to respond. In fact, I ended up pinning it. So why don't you go and check out the channel? There's got some beautiful digital art there. Don't forget to stay tuned for, for the next video, which is gonna be about the transfer of the image onto, onto wood. All right. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.